Hello, everybody. It's Tuesday, August 23rd, 2022. It's, al it's already almost already over August. And uh, we are we are keeping things cool down here in Texas, a little moist, a little rainy. Uh, we had some flood warnings in other parts of the state, very dangerous, but uh, we are doing okay here so far. So far. I don't know why I said it like, like there's going to be a season finale to this flood. But, but uh, thank you everybody for joining us here. Coming up, we got some great stories here. Uh, we got a game. We got a new game. We'll see how much. I think the, I think the guys might play around with this a little bit. I don't know. We got a fun little game coming up for you today. And we're just going to hang out. Speaking of hanging out, just we're going to take you over to the green room. Green room, can you hear me? Yeah, yeah man. Yay! My wife, my wife actually has developed this thing. It started in Europe, and it's it's continued. Europe? It's persisted here Europe? in America. Yep. Where she just narrates when we're driving. Oh my oh, god, I love Brian this. Brian hates that. Oh no 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 no. Well, maybe Wait, it's a stylistic thing. Go narrates on. Narrates as in like she she okay. looks at the yeah. at McDonald's. The... Yeah. Okay, yeah, that's, that's not all right. No, I do hate the post that. office. That's that. that's, yeah, that's, yeah, not yeah. that's not narration. Yeah. That's not narration. Martin's <laughs> laundromat. <That's, laughs> got both my dad and my brother severely infected with the same disease. Oh. It's awful. I didn't marry that. <laughs> <laughs> it just started. It just started recently. This is learned behavior. <laughs> and initially in Europe, it was in like we were in Germany. Yeah. And it would be like like Fredericks and 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 then she's like oh I'm doing it so I can explain to you what these things are and I'm like I yeah. know what like like Londromat is like <laughs> like it's not hard to pick like to pick up. yeah got it it's like I, I get it but there it's like okay whatever I'll take your excuse and then we're driving and she's like pluckers and I'm like what is going on with your brain okay But like when Jay was, <laughs> but, but my my wife's brain is deteriorating. <laughs> but oh when Jay God. was in decline, he would find each one hilarious. He would just oh, say the thing yes. he read and, and go, McDonald's, ha <laughs> 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 And I'm like, yes, Jay, you you did successfully read that billboard. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Oh. That's when you got to worry. All right. Well, uh, I'll so, put that on the. Watch uh, for the left. I'll, yeah. I'll, I'll put that on the to do list. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god. No. Every every now and then, like when I'm traveling with Brian, you know, then I'm I'm looking up and I'm like, I'm like reading ahead, and I do that. Yeah. How do you do it? I mean the same thing, like you know, laundromat or oh, laundromat because we were just talking about a laundromat three days ago, right? Or whatever. Uh, so so I, you're so you're free so, associating. So it. I'm associating yeah. to some conversation that happened earlier, and then Brian's like, "Oh no, <laughs> you will not. You will not. That stops now." And then I'm like. Okay, I'm sorry. Because I already yeah, had the conversation. Is before, so I it's is before I got on drugs. Yeah, well, yeah. Uh, well, yeah. But it was, like, I get it was it. like an all stop telegram for my attention for for this is an advertisement, and I yes. couldn't handle it. That and was then, difficult. But, but even Dustin's is like, no, don't do that. So, like, this is our PSA. If you do, you're a writer in a car, and you have a problem where you have to read out all the billboards. Just stop. No, well, no, 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 no. Here's here's what I would say. Just punch Come, it up. Like, no, just just punch it up. <laughs> just like yeah. use them as prompts. Yeah. McDonald's. Oh. I see McDonald's. Instead of just saying McDonald's, you say, hey, whatever happened to the McDouble? Right. Like you and see now McDonald's. we're having a conversation about oh. a, a yeah. fast food item that we might remember, or might it's not a remember. Word that doesn't Did lead you to know anywhere. that Ray okay. Kroc was a salesman for milkshake machines, and then he stole everything from the McDonald's brothers? And oh, okay. Yeah. yeah. Now, now that we're talking about this, I can uh, see. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, Rice. Hello. Hey, Rice. Hey, hey, don't, don't mess, mess with, with Texas. Texas. <laughs> How many people are left that don't know that that's an anti-littering campaign? Be uh, Who would? I can imagine everyone would probably. Yeah, I don't. Know. I didn't know that. I wouldn't know really any other than Okie. It's a it's, 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 it's a it's it's a battle we will never it? win. I've yeah. just realized now what your aesthetic and for audio listeners, Bryce is wearing a hat uh, and glasses. Yeah. Yeah. Shockingly similar to Easy E. 
Who's Easy E? Uh, he's hey, kind of like Hold the on. Debit Daddy. Let's let's look okay. up. Let's look up. By also way, look up the picture. Debit Daddy. By the way, if this you're is normally where I would tell you, Bryce. If you're an audio listener, you are missing out because every time Bryce smiles, he shows the cutest dimples. That's right. <laughs> he's got his, the cutest. His dimples are cuter than my dad's dimples. Uh, uh, no, no, oh, yeah. yeah. Not for nothing. Yeah. It, it may be like, that. like legally uh, 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 irresponsible for me to acknowledge how cute uh, his dimples are, <laughs> yeah. are as an employee. Lawyer, but, but yeah, post me too. Post, post me too. You can't. You can't acknowledge yeah. that. Just saying that his dimples are so cute, people don't realize I have dimples when he's in the room. Wait, I've <laughs> never <laughs> realized you yeah. had dimples. Yeah. Oh no. Yeah. No. I. I guess I like. I think dimples are really cute. You do have yeah, cute dimples yeah. too. But you have the facial hair. So like. If yeah. yeah. So that's, so that's one of the reasons why yeah. I shaved the beard too. So, so you can see the dimples. Extreme gray that's come in. Yeah. So, no. Yeah. I like. I like the look. You Thanks. got the, what is that, the fan? Oh, you got the, the big dimples, too. Yeah, like white ones. Mine are like, like kind of. Yeah, yours pointy. are up and tight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah you do, yeah. yeah. They are. <laughs> uh, so the, uh, the comedian Kyle Cease has one just fabulous moment where he uh, is is appearing to improvise a song on the piano and he talks about his dimples and he goes but the weird thing is and he's in profile the entire time and then he turns to the audience and says I only have one. <laughs> and then you realize he really does only have one dimple. Oh, only yeah. one dimple. Which, which, which is a cool thing to sit on for 60 minutes and then let that be a bit. Uh, 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 hold on. Wait, uh, the Buck is pointing out something in our chat that mm. we used to do on our wrestling podcast, 1-900-Wrestling, where Trey Warren, who has been on the show before playing music and singing, and uh, he's, he's amazing at both, uh, but he would just get kind of fucked up and then play wrestlers themes on a melodica like <laughs> half fucked up were all of them the jurassic park theme because uh, i could do this no i think oh. trey should just come in live yep and he should do that not with wrestlers themes but with like music and and theme Absolutely. songs we should yeah That's we should that have would be amazing each of us a theme oh uh, sure wait, yes wait, yeah I yes. Yeah. So I, I I saw a um a, a silly meme where it was like showing somebody on a melodica and then saying, "Kids these days won't know how ridiculously large our vapes were back in." The <laughs> <laughs> yes. That's a good one. <laughs> large and weird our vapes. Yeah. Like, mur, mur, mur. I might vape if that were the case. <laughs> if, it <was> a melodica, <laughs> if it were a melodica, <laughs> and it might make me play melodica. <laughs> <laughs> like that might that would be the delta of like why don't I vape? <laughs> like because it doesn't play music. Why don't I play music because it doesn't deliver tobacco? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Shit, man, I'm, I join you. Right? <laughs> If only they had like a, a percussive uh, melodica. Yeah. <laughs> of course, I realize the, the music that you're making is all from sucking in and not the blowing out. Look. Look. Sorry, I got. I'm not a fucking scientist, man. I'm like, sorry, I'm thinking like a musician. What are you? Wait a minute, Doctor Wiley. What if, what, what if both of us learned the melodica and yeah. vaping, and we both learned how to beatbox? We could take turns playing melodies, and then uh, uh, as we exhale, beatbox. But then it's a group. It might as well be fucking D&D &D at that point, because someone's going to be busy one day. And, right. You did, know, did, it's going to be Did you thing. ever try to get good at beatboxing? No. Ever, ever try to be? No, no, no. The most I ever tried to earnestly get good at was a lot of kids in my school would would like do the beats like by like banging on their desks. Right. Yeah. That was a big thing because yeah. I went to a a predominantly black uh, middle school, mm. uh, and and so that was very very popular. And so I tried earnestly to get good at that, uh, and then realized that it hurt both my knuckles and my wrists. <laughs> Oh. And your sense of pride, <laughs> and and my sense of pride. <laughs> I I, di I didn't have the gumption to stick through it. We had like a little keyboard thing that was like this big. This, this the thing. microphone. You must no, speak no, no. into it. Oh, it was yeah. like a. She's like, no, no, no. no, no, no. I, like, I do what I want. It really was this big. big. I'm just gesturing here, but it was like a. It was like this little. 
this this like it was the size of your um a little Dick. bigger than your calculator you had to buy for that class you know i don't know <laughs> but everybody has so, a, what okay, was you it? Had a device. What was it? Yeah, yeah it was oh like, are you it was like the little the, keyboard uh, thing um, the, the big the big yeah uh, I think it was. Not the like Casio tone. tone. The, the, um, the, the one with the, the pen. Like metal, metal, yeah, the pen. pen. Is that a cat? cat? That no, that's not no, Casio no, no, tone. No, no, no. Casio tone is two octaves and something. it's like that big. and Yeah. 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 The yeah. Radio also, Shack catalog yeah. has so many <laughs> uh, uh, fantastic yeah. technical treats sure for you. Yep. From, but <laughs> for I, the kid and kid at heart. So I learned how to play the MASH theme on that. The MASH theme. The Master MASH. I do believe the song is Suicide is Pain. Painless oh, is the name yeah. of the song. No, that is the actual Korean name of the song. Mash. It was a Korean mash. <laughs> Communist mash. <laughs> it was a red and black. Uh, Anyways, oh, flash. We we lost Bryce. His, yeah, uh, yeah, his, Bryce's, his, Bryce's shit is echoing. Yeah, so he, oh, he, went all, he's uh, been uh, all feels the a responsibility to make oh, sure this okay. is good. Yeah. So, um. Yeah, and then when I was the rabbit, these are my musical instruments, by the, the way. The rabbit? The rabbit in Wonder, uh, uh, you know, in the Wonder Like League. one pill makes you smaller? Yeah, well, no. One the pill. white no. rabbit. I was, yeah. I was the dum, white rabbit. Bum. I mean, I wouldn't, I, I, I wouldn't yeah. think you'd be any yeah. other color. Yeah. It wasn't, <laughs> it wasn't, it wasn't that cool because it was a kid's play, but I had a trumpet. For some reason, okay, and I know. So then I Sounds mean, like it's pretty <laughs> trivial. I, I mean, it was I, like a little. I, toy I would show up high to this production. <laughs> yeah. So, so the the other time I like I like self learned a little song was self learned self learned. Like I I just kind of worked it out, noodled it, but I had to noodle it a lot, so it was really annoying. Yeah. So as an adult who's had to endure that kind of punishment from like children, I realized like this is so a very you're saying painful. you figured out how to play a trumpet on your own. Well, I I. It it was a toy trumpet, and I oh. played taps on it. Like, I figured out how to play taps on it. So I always played Melton That's not songs. ominous. I was, already, <laughs> I, was, I was all ready to bring my trumpet over for next time. I, 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 I didn't know you married Wednesday Adams. <laughs> Congratulations on your new Netflix series, by the way. Yeah. <laughs> so the, I think Luis Guzman's a great I Gomez. think he's great, Gomez. <laughs> yep. I don't know why everybody's... Who knew that this so many years later people would be that horny for Raul Julia? Yeah. Really? Yeah. Yeah. No. No. This is no. This is a thing. Really, this, this is a is? thing where people are upset uh, that that oh. Louise Guzman is a is a thicker Gomez Adams. By the way, Catherine Zeta Jones is oh. playing Morticia. I didn't know she was that third lead in a Netflix series right. of, of her of her career. But God bless her. Uh, uh, but yeah, people are like, oh no, he's too much of a chonker. M M uh, uh, Gomez should be. Like the Raul Julia kind of like right. super. It, means, it makes her look taller. Yeah. Right. They, they, they look... And also, who ever fucking complained about Luis Guzman being in anything? He's a right. joy. He's awesome. What, uh, I, uh, am I a bad person, or am I wrong? When in my uh, uh, Wikipedia, my brain, I think of uh, 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 Gomez Adams, and I just think Cuban. Uh, is 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 uh, wait? Did he who who played? Uh, I think both Julia and Guzman are Puerto Rican, if I'm okay. not mistaken. Yeah. I I guess maybe what I'm doing is collapsing them into the same category all my, all, as all Rick, my, all, Ricky all my, Ricardo or all, all my Puerto Ricanos. Hit me up, Lucy. What was the movie Lucy like? That I mean, they recently the put movie out. Who Lucy. Played that? Yeah, who played yeah. Lucy and I in, in, played, in the movie Lucy? Yeah, who put, played Desi? Oh. oh, that was Brett. No. It was me. You would have been good. Well, except you're not right. Yeah. Well, yeah, you really good. I <laughs> Just, hey, I Lucy, you know. you've got some splaining to do. <laughs> yeah. I bet you could. Baba, Baba Lou. Lou. Baba I do know how to play the Congos. Yeah. Probably is, better than. <laughs> this is what happens when, when Bob learns the rules I, of Great Baba Night. Lou. My problem is I always like, hey, I only buddy, snap on the ones Baba and the Lou, threes. do you? I don't know. <laughs> okay. Well, maybe if we had to, like, maybe. I would have cast. Well, I probably Lucy, cast you, you can't be in that show. <laughs> <laughs> You're right. You got the part. <laughs> you got the part. Nailed it. Never mind. You Stealing got it. Stealing another fucking yeah. role from me, man. <laughs> yeah, You're yeah, not even yeah, interested. Yeah, you know. You know. Uh, I saw something interesting on Twitter the other day. Yeah. 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 From a 
at Kath Barbadoro. She's a comedian. She did it. Here's what I want to know. Given that Saul Goodman is canonically a Gen X pothead who quotes movies a lot. Oh. <laughs> I mean, almost assuredly, right? Uh, yeah. I think yeah. Bonnie might be the only one in the room who's read Bob Odenkirk's book. Yeah, uh, it was comedy, great. Comedy, 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 tragedy. Yes, very, uh, uh, very uh, good. In which he describes his first meeting mm. with, with David Cross. Uh, can, can you retell that story? Oh, yeah, it's so good. So, like, uh, uh, Janine Garofalo. Garofalo. Yep. Garofalo. It, he he and she are good friends and they, they have like kind of this like unit of of um comedians that kinda of hang out and they're all being creative and shit. And then they all live in like a complex or near a complex. So like everybody kind of gravitates towards this space. And so they come so Janine and David Cross come bouncing a basketball up to his screen door because he's just got the screen door open and he's about to sit back with the sandwich that he just made. This is David Cross? No, no, no. This Bob is Bob Oden. Oden. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So Bob's on his couch and he's, a, he's really hungry and he's sitting and also there. Also loves basketball. Loves basketball. Oh, yeah. So apparently like he is just like all about basketball and, and, they, and that was kind of like part of the whole thing is everybody would – go hang out and talk shit right. and play basketball. But then like he's sitting down, he's about to eat a sandwich. He was just he was about to put everything in his mouth, including his hand. He was that hungry. Yeah. Yeah. Right? And then he's just like and they come up to the screen door. Hey Bob, this is my friend David. I think you'd really like to meet him. You know, we're just gonna go play some basketball. You wanna come? He's like, I'm eating a sandwich. <laughs> <laughs> and then they go. He doesn't hang out with them for two more yeah. I was like, I bet you it's a good sandwich. Yeah, I mean, I guess so. So, like, anyways, brilliant. But, That's amazing. But they, they wind up being in circles, and they eventually stand, you know, because everybody was writing on projects together, and they got so to know each I other. Lied. Yep. Yeah, but no, but he... Cross was not. Cross was not. Odenkirk so, was. like, yeah. he was already yeah. past... Uh, and it was really interesting to hear his take, because I'd, I'd listened to... Um, to Tina Fey's Bossy Saturday, Pants, Bossy pants Bossy which is pants. amazing. Yeah. And she's like, she's in my ear for a week and she feels like she's my best friend. And then she just ditches me because the book ends. And yeah. It's, it's Total really bitch. Kinda, the book again. Write yeah, another book, you whore. Like, I know, right? I mean, I read, the, read the book again. again. With the same material. I'm I like, know, what is this? I know. And I, I feel like she should just write me about like, her exciting story that takes five hours talking about her latest kid's birthday party or something. Cause I would listen to it because she's so you, you, you want a Tina Fey podcast. Yeah. I, well, yeah. 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 Only if it's as well written. I, I'm not big on podcasts because like me I, either. Yeah, I, I hate them. Do you really? <laughs> no, I, mean, I love I them. Like, We're on one right now. I know. On one. <laughs> but the, like people, there's people like me that just talk. And then like, I would hate to listen to me on a podcast. So anyways, but like, if you <laughs> write a book and it's all just, this just <laughs> might be the next I, three hours. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Deconstructing this moment. Go wow. ahead. Yeah. So, anyways, but <laughs> stick with us, everyone. Stick yeah. with us. So we'll be right back. <laughs> <laughs> and I'll cry and shit. No, but then uh, Tina is like first oh name basis. Tina. <laughs> so Tina. They're close. Right, They're yeah. tight. Yep. <laughs> yeah, so me and Tina, we're hanging out. And yeah. she's telling me in my ear. Hi, T. Because we're like, TF. yeah, we're such good friends. Hey, she Bicur. Says, she says, like, how much Saturday Night Live means everything. It's all things ever. And then Bob Odenkirk is like, yeah, I don't know. I just, I just kind of like was there and I was lucky if anything made it on the show and I eventually, you know, so it was, it was interesting to have that, that, that juxtaposition. This is the same guy who uh, uh, wrote for Chris Farley. Well, yeah. yeah. Uh, Odeker comes yeah. up a lot on the, um, David Spade and Dana Carvey podcast, mm -hmm. uh, oh. uh, specifically him and Jack Handy, who actually wrote, if not still write a zine together. Oh. Uh, wow. called Army Man. Wow. Oh, that's so fun. Yeah, so Jack Handy and Bob yeah. Odenkirk, like two of the greatest comedy writers of of their or Absolutely. any generation. Uh, but yeah, no, it's it's uh, uh, they always refer to him as just 
you know, obviously a, a gigantic heavy hitter mm-hmm. uh, in terms of like writing at that time. People wanted sketches from him. Yeah. So he, uh, my, my favorite part was like on the first day and he had a sketch up there. And then it was just like a scene that was set in the bathroom. And he's standing next to, um, oh man, uh, the main guy. What, the main guy? Turd man. No, 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 no. no. The, 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 the main guy, guy on SNL? Lauren Michaels. Lauren Michaels. Lauren Michaels. Lauren, so Lauren he's, Michaels. He's standing next to Lauren Michaels. Taylor when they're Lorenz shooting in. Michaels. Right. Lauren so when, Michaels. So he's just like, oh, I got my Lauren little sketch Robinette or something. Michael. And he's just like, oh, I'm Junior. so hopeful about this. And it's it's like one of my first sketches is coming out. And then Lauren Michaels is there and he's just like, where's the echo? Where's the echo? They're in a bathroom. Where is the echo? There should be an echo because that's <laughs> what bathrooms do. There's echoes. And he goes, and then Bob Odenkirk Did says, they try Bryce's mic? Oh no. <laughs> oh no! Not fair! I, not, I watched. Stunt. I watched. I Bryce, no. fucking I go to hell and back. Cry. Bryce, what's With your Venmo? Class. What's your Venmo? Oh, no. I'm just gonna Venmo. You're terrible. Just oh. what's your Venmo? You're such an asshole. Oh, I know. I just. Gonna, I'm just gonna. What I'm just. I'm just it? gonna pay the fee. Like I, I, I know it was wrong. Oh, no. <laughs> I'm just gonna bribe him like a oh like a like a policeman in Bryce Central America. Ernest, just, just bring up there. your code. Yeah, like, I'm wow. just gonna pay you, know, you for, money uh, for that. Emergency. There we go. <laughs> he's <laughs> this right. literally he's happening. Gonna, by he's the gonna way, request, yeah, I'm, I'm sure he's gonna know. request twenty bucks from no. me. <laughs> <laughs> Just <laughs> giving you a carbon. He's offset. finding a way to report me to PayPal's security forces. Oh yeah. my god! There we go. <laughs> sorry, dude. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> it was too <laughs> funny. Two, two, two dollars. Fucking oh, too funny. Funny. But that's kind of like plays into what I was saying because then, like, he was standing next to Lauren Michaels, and he says, and Bob Odenkirk says. And that's when I learned not to stand next to Lauren Michaels <laughs> yeah. when there was a taping. Because, like, what the fuck? You know? So, You're like, thanks. Uh, thanks a lot. Apparently, <laughs> Lauren Michaels uh, was so conscious of the fact that he made everyone nervous that uh, during show nights, and this might be a thing that still goes on, he walks around with an open bottle of wine and a wine glass. <laughs> The entire show, so he'll appear less intimidating <laughs> to people. Uh, yeah. He's like drinking during. Doesn't doesn't intimidate less. I think that was yeah. intimidating yeah. way, way yeah. more. That's Constantly talking flex. about uh, Godfather one. Four the yes. entire time. Well, yeah, that, that knows that. Yeah, yeah. Yes. The funny like, like the jokes they always make is like Paul's coming over, yeah. and you don't know if it's Simon or McCartney. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Paul because uh, and John Wayne yeah. Gacy. Yeah, Paul. Yeah, oh. Paul. Paul oh, just been binge watched Mind Hunter. So, uh, yeah. how, how, he said it was did, uh, okay. How did you guys like the the slam dunk finale of uh, I don't know the, the uh, fourteen year journey that we took that ended with Better Call Saul? I'll tell you when I fucking watch the, yeah. uh, the rest of the four seasons that I haven't watched. Thought it was really, really? weird that he became yeah. a transformer at the end. I love that. that. <laughs> and he that star, when he weird. Starscream, a symbol. <laughs> I Starscream I will return in. <laughs> He's saying, uh, Your Honor! <laughs> I was talking to Baroness! I mean Megatron! <laughs> you need a criminal lawyer! <laughs> wow. I, I am doing all of us a favor by stopping now. No, we're yeah, going to stop the star screen. Yeah, that's a favor. <laughs> yeah. That's a favor. <laughs> So it was good. No, I think it was good. I, 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 I've probably watched it two or three times now. The really? finale. Yeah, it's good. Satisfying. Well, I think so. I, I think, think it's a good finale. Sorry, Lonnie. I, oh, yeah. uh, I think it's a good finale because it has so many plausible futures open to it. But of what 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 could happen what, is, yeah. in, is in the mind of the viewer. Yeah. yeah. Oh, what what oh. happens in the next six months? But not, and but it's not, open. But not, but to not so madden, but maddeningly interpretive like the Sopranos finale. Right. Exactly. Oh, Which was no. basically like like a, yeah. a, a, a splotch of paint, and you're like, I like that ending. I thought that was. You, okay. I think it's aged well. In context, it makes a lot of Not sense. Not as, as well as uh, the uh, the advertisement for Hillary Clinton's campaign. What? <laughs> Why would you? Which advertisement? Wow. Remember, remember oh when... yes. Oh no, no. She redid that one. <laughs> yes. She did. She she redid the the Sopranos thing with oh. with Chelsea oh. and Bill <laughs> to reveal but it's like... their song. <laughs> yes. <laughs> And that was yeah, it was gonna be their campaign song. Uh, I think what it was, was the, the song? 08 one. I can't remember. The, the, I know the oh, 16 I guess one. Don't stop believing. Yeah, or, yeah. yeah. Mm. 
Yep. Yeah. And that was the song that was it? did. Yeah. Okay. Well, yeah. no, that was the Soprano song. Yeah. Right. Was that the well, Hillary was, song? What was the Hillary song? I don't remember that. I, I remember in I'm 2016, it was fucking <laughs> Fight Song, oh, yeah. which got played a billion times. Oh, those my fault. A billion EK, times. Yeah, when she uh, ended TJ and Amal, people were complaining that it was so open ended that she ended up writing mm. uh, a, a finale, and it was three different th- hey it's three different possibilities you pick one you yeah. pick one and they're great oh, yeah. it's a really smart oh, idea of doing that. That. Did yeah. I, I read it yeah, yeah i read it recently because I, I had read the the story a long time ago but i had never read those and so i was like oh i don't even own them so i'll just buy them so i bought the little pdf or something it's great yeah it's a really cool idea to do that oh, yeah oh that's so nice and that was her Multiple way of endings. just going i don't know what, what does happened? it happen like this? i don't know i mean is it crazy that yeah. they have Statues of uh, Jesse Pinkman and no uh, homeboy. Uh, it was crazy Walter when White. they did it for Rocky. Once yes. Rocky's statue was up, it became not crazy for everyone afterwards. Well, the fucked up thing about Wait, Rocky where? is that you they don't Rocky's have they don't have statues for the dozens of iconic, actual, real life athletes that have played in Philadelphia. Yeah, but they do have one for the fictional boxer. Uh, yep. Uh, yep. In, in, yeah. in Philadelphia. But I have the tiger. So. But that's kind of like, I have the tiger. I mean, it's like, a dope movie. Great song. Yeah. I get it because, like, you know, uh, if you if you invest in an actual person and they could be canceled or they're just flawed or they're just real people. Yeah, but Do you think people love Walter White? If you're going to invest in anyone, make sure it's <laughs> a no, meth head and a meth <laughs> no, dealer. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Okay. But. <laughs> <laughs> You're absolutely and also, right. we've got statues of bad people. Yeah, we it, still do. Remember yeah. the Confederate yeah. statue? Yeah. 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 That's true. Some football coaches. And it's like we yeah. like them bad. Uh, ooh, not ooh. slave owner bad. Yeah. Oh, dear. Oh, like Breaking hey. bad. Yes, yeah, slave. I bought bad one. I no. bought a Saddam Hussein one off eBay for a price. Wow. <laughs> Shipping and handling was steep, but. <laughs> <laughs> you got it in your front yard. Uh, yeah, oh, yeah, I got Plus, it right, right there. there. Child yeah. labor. <laughs> it's, you like you bought it and then you tipped it over and it's just sitting in there. Wow. <laughs> Three, two, two one. one. Who's a famous Philadelphia Eagle player open by you? That Randall Cunningham should shit in your mouth. Yeah. Wow. wow. I agree. Get what? dunked. Yeah. Good dunked. He should. What? And he should do it while running because that's how he played the game. Blah. Yeah. Blah, blah, blah. Get dunked. No, I don't what I'm agreeing no, get to, but I agree yeah. 100%. Yeah. Yeah. I, I do enjoy that I have seen other people post. I have posted this and other people have posted it. The mansplaining <laughs> statue down on uh, UT campus where there's like a. A bench and there's a, a a woman who looks 1950s proper and then this guy with his knee like his foot up on the on the on the on no the so I, that's like, not how it looks I, at all is that LBJ? Is that she's doing the cat she's doing the wait, wait, hold on wait, no, no, no 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 you know you guys need to reenact it you guys need to reenact it yes i i, 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 I will describe it. it i was just trying to mansplain yeah, yeah. Hold on. Oh, let me look it up let me look it up I mean, you're doing the Captain Morgan. Sorry, wait a minute. I, I just I just got the email that I paid uh, Bryce twenty five dollars in guilt money. <laughs> uh, man, explaining oh. Echo <laughs> statue. Well, that should have just been between us. Uh, oh. <laughs> UT <laughs> campus. <laughs> Here we go. Oh, there we go. Okay, okay. man's playing statue. I mean, so so I there mean. we go. That that's that's what it is. Oh, you guys need like to reenact it. Yeah, that's you guys. You two very, very overbearing. Uh, Brett, you Brett, you Brett. 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 No, 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 no. You you, you, you scoot down. Let me let me take a little gander. Yeah, here, take the, take Ryan, the, the, the yeah. he's, he's going to. He's going to. Uh, all right. Okay, first of all, all right, all right, all right. Um, so what next? Very important. You be the lady here. Is that? Uh, uh, no, no, no. You sit down. Bryce, you you, you hold that up for him. Let, no, yeah. I know how it goes. Oh. <laughs> Okay, getting into character. Getting into character. Getting into character. Yeah, method. Uh, uh, method. Yes, yes, yes. Method. All method. All right, all right. All right. All right. Here, here it is. is. Here it is. So she's got so. her legs crossed. She's she's looking very poised. Defensive. She's getting she's demure. She's leaning back a little bit because he's leaning in. No, 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 no. You, you, no, you have you have your hand, your foot on the same bench, so your foot's got to oh, be on, foot is yeah, up on her. Right here. Hey, like... don't just explain this shit to me. Uh, uh, right. Come on. And I'm just like. 
Oh, there we go. Wow. And I would say oh, pop that know. ass more because his pop apple it. is he like does. out. It's like yeah. it's like an apple. He's got yeah. <laughs> there we go. Yeah. yeah. Big ham. Oh, that's Big right. Ham. That's what we're looking for. That's it. And with night attack framed in the the back there. Ooh. Perfect. I think I'm supposed to be like, ooh, you're so interesting. And that's why E equals whatever I say. Yeah, it does. <laughs> I don't know what accent that I was. I don't know. Well, that's why I said T. Tech and Texas E can be whatever you want to be. Hey, howdy, hey, y'all. It's me, T. Tech and Texas. I'm here to explain to you Actually, how. Bonnie, Bonnie looks more interested in this conversation than the statue does. Yeah. The statue <laughs> the statue's Brent, pick pretty up boring. Microphone. Sorry, sorry. What the fuck? What Jesus the Christ. Jesus. Sorry, I thought we were moving uh, over. Who right. is this guy? Now, Brett. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> I thought we explained something. You gotta talk into the the microphone. (laughs) Okay. Um, Uh, Hold on. uh, I got. I have a gift. I forgot I had a gift. Oh, delivered to me by Jacob, the audio guy in Las Vegas, and I was out there. Uh, This is direct from Ireland. Uh, uh, Irish your, our, our, our friend uh, Brogan, who we yes. helped smuggle into Brogan. the uh, VIP event for uh, the Ice Cream Social Weekend, uh, she illustrated and made stickers. Oh! oh! This, is so fun! this is us triumphant at uh, at uh, uh, two years yeah, can... uh, running. See that uh, for the uh, for there the belt go. of of the Mikey trivia quiz. There you go. Excellent. That's good. Yeah, that's definitely that's good that, stuff. That's, that's going straight. Is on that going the, on your phone? Yeah. Yeah. There we go. Yes. Yeah. So yes. I I believe Brogan has that's a new primary. podcast Let's called see. Hey Buddy Nice Podcast. Hey Buddy Nice Podcast. <laughs> Uh, so go hey, buddy, ahead. Nice blog guest. So oh. go ahead and everybody follow follow that. Uh, I haven't listened to it, so if it sucks, it's your own fault. That's right. Uh, yeah. That's how it works. But she gave us great stickers, true. so she gets a plug. Awesome. Very cool. I like it. Yeah. Did uh, everybody change their contact lenses today? Today is today is the day I changed my contact lenses. The fuck no. you talk about, man? I'm wearing my glasses. What what, what did you change them into? <laughs> I changed them to, into new ones so I can see. Uh, are they like oh, snake? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I was hoping you could. Like the, the, the color. Is this the thing that we wild? should all be doing? Well, if you're wearing contacts, I'm not. Well, then no, you're good. Yeah. Wait, yeah. Oh, but if okay, you're like me good. wearing contacts, aren't they supposed to be, be like changing. dailies or something? Yeah, Mine are monthlies. Those are monthly. Oh. Monthly. So you can yeah. leave them in for a whole month. I have to take them out every night. But yeah. Okay. Oh, you take them out every night. No. <laughs> yeah. So no, I know. I, 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 I legitimately am fascinated oh, by contacts yeah, because yeah. I'm terrified about touching my eyes. Me too. Oh, yeah. And it's like you get ah! over that. You get over it real oh, quick. You're doing it right right now. He's getting in there with uh, his just... fingers on his eyes. Yeah. It doesn't even hurt. <laughs> Don't your eyes get dirty? <laughs> That's so gross. Well, kind of. The contact lenses kind of help. They're like a a shield cover a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> Do you know Do where you your, your eye? No, cover. cover, a cover. Do you yeah. know where your eye I'm begins and the, and the lens ends? <laughs> uh, like at the corona. Like if you're, yeah, if you're if you're like, oh, that's a little bit more eye than lens. <laughs> uh, like, is that ever a thought you have while you're reaching into your oh, fucking eyeball? Stop. And, no, because you just you just squeeze the whole thing and, uh, and okay, it, and it comes out, and then you just uh, and and it's a big cover. It's not like a small. Yeah. Yeah, so it pretty much just covers the the uh, cor- the corona. I'm the probably cornea. gonna need them eventually. This is a fear I'm gonna eyesight? have to face yeah. late late in life. Do you have bad My, eyesight? No, I don't. I have good eyesight in general enough that I haven't had to wear glasses, but oh. uh, uh, it's going bad. Like real it's not. Research. It's not getting better. Yeah. I mean, you could get you readers. Know? I'm sure you could get cheap readers if no, you got. No, no, really. No, I need long distance. That's that's they what make, I. They that, make that's that's what I need. Because like, like if you if you have a small if you have a, a weaker prescript or weaker power prescription, then you can just get those at like CVS. I remember one time uh, I forget if it was Brian or Bonnie or both were telling a story about Josie not being able to like read the time on a on a clock, oh, yeah, and that's when yeah. you realize that she needed glasses. She needed to take co- and clock I class very again. silently was like. <laughs> I don't think from that vantage point I have ever read. <laughs> the, oh my god! That I have ever read the time on that clock. Well, that's the thing. People oh. get used to it. People yeah. get used to having living a blurry life or yeah. only certain distances. You of get by life. with charm and guile. Yeah, my well, a buddy. That's what she did. Hi. Yeah. She, went, she had everybody write her notes for her. So wow. she's just sitting there, just like a little princess. Like, oh, I can't see that. Can you guys just tell me? Or why don't you just write it out? And so she had like the whole class work. For her. Oh. And I'm like, 
No, honey. That's no. not gonna you, no. you future cult that? leader. No, no. I feel like you should have oh, that was yeah. a mistake. I don't wanna yeah. I don't wanna say I don't <laughs> no, want a Monday morning parent, but like I'm like, with Justin I feel, I feel on like, this I feel one. Like, like that I mean that's like CEO track. That's like C suite. Yep. Mm-hmm. This is true. Uh, well, a buddy know. a buddy of mine, uh <laughs> he would drive us around in high school and he he could read the bolded signs on the highway oh. he could read the bolded text wow. and he knew where he was going but uh it seemed like he had an acceptable <laughs> amount of blur in his daily yeah. life <laughs> i need to see he i need needed... to see it is my job to look at things <laughs> and to make sure that they look he could, okay. he could only read signs with serifs <laughs> 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 he loves cuneiform yeah. hieroglyphics uh, but, uh, so 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 i'm at the age where um and it's appropriate for my age i'm creeping up on 50 but uh corrected vision I, I can see uh, everything perfectly clearly. Actually, 2010, uh, mm-hmm. uh, very far away. It's 2022. Uh, 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 2020 is, per, is uh, 2022 is better than <laughs> the year is 2022. Y- y- okay, yeah, fine. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Midterm. I, I can it's see all the way into the past. <laughs> yeah, I can see yeah, back when can. Barack that's Obama how good was is, president. That's, yeah, that's yeah. how good is it. I hope but, I see Bob Walters. But right around here mm-hmm. is when uh, it's uh, 2022. Uh, I swear to God. <laughs> right around uh, here is what you were saying. Right around, right around here. here. Okay. Which right is now, 2022. it's 2022. Yeah. About gotcha. this far away. Uh-huh. Is It'll be 2023. 2023. <laughs> yeah. Corrected vision. We're not far away. It, requires already. Yeah. Like readers yeah. to get any closer. Uh-huh. Meanwhile, hmm. my eyes are so farsighted that it's like I'm fully blind with the glasses off. But if, once the glasses are off, I'm like... Every single dot and whirl and and mm-hmm. and that's slice of, yeah. on on, on uh, your on oh, your fingertips so, on your fingertips so nearsighted yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, where is so, your where uh, without glasses where is your like focal point because I'm nearsighted too my focal point where my eyes can naturally focus is like right here like about an inch or two away from my eyes yeah I would say right now I could see every single fold in so you're my, about three four inches away yeah maybe yeah, yeah I can still see then. Um, yeah, no, it's like when I, further away, you know, I can count like the individual strands of hair in the shower with my, you know, if I don't have any lenses on or anything, it's that like fucking macro. Well, and and, 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 and this is what an asshole I am is like when when they announce the retina display, I'm like, bullshit. (laughs) I see them pixels. (laughs) (laughs) Well, see, I I was different. I I thought it was like, oh, I see it. Because I'd I'd get real close to the iPad and then I got the new one. I was like, oh, I can't even see the pixels anymore. (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) My, uh, this was the year. This was the year that my eye doctor went. So with your walleye that's a little off, and I'm like, my what? Your what? My what? Your little wall-eyed, Brett. I'm like, no, it's Wally. What? Pix- the Pixar, yeah. Disney Pixar goes, Wally. Yeah. Wow. You, it's Dolly. Because I, I said, yeah, it goes double at this point. She goes, yeah, that's because your eyes aren't focusing in. So she's uh, like, because I'm not, I'm over 50. So there's a lot of it like going, hey, okay. brag about it. A lot of this is me going, okay. And, and she's, that's, that's the job I've got now is going, and that okay go back and try again i'm like oh god i'm so tired uh, well so so mm. th- there's the complicated question because this is the age where uh uh, uh being a little bit younger than me uh uh, uh, uh 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 anthony carboni or whatever would get his eyes corrected or whatever mm. and and uh he was bragging about having perfect awesome 2010 sight all the time and how it was great i'm like yeah, I don't know. You're just showing off the bags under your eyes, and and you can't How see up close. How dare you? How oh dare you? I, I love I having big, boxy that. glasses. I there think. we go. If I could, I'd be wearing a mask over this mask. <laughs> That's so funny. Get big old square. Brian's, Brian's oh. ideal look would be Jim Carrey in the mask with Lisa Loeb glasses. Actually, oh my, my yeah. ideal look would he, be... He would, he would sing Say instead of Cuban Pete. <laughs> it, would be, it would be Brett from two weeks ago peeping on that mama feeding the baby. <laughs> oh, no! What are you... Why are we bringing that back? Oh, let me get a little bit of that. Y'all are... Look what's on tap! Yeah. Five minutes, everybody. Right, all right. It looks like it's a local oh. brew. <laughs> that a came from left brew. field. How dare you? <laughs> okay. Well, Fucking well, Venmo him $25. Yeah, I was going to say. Yeah, Venmo the man $25. Oh, God. Uh, how's well, 
Brett 2022. Well, Brett, in, in I you realize I'm legally blind in one eye. Yes. yes. Right? And so, like, I I had to go around with a patch on my eye as a child so that I could uh, make over sure. Over her good eye. I, over my good eye. <laughs> oh, so, so that, it, right. could, it could correct. Yeah, so I wouldn't be wall-eyed or whatever. And so, like, that was a big, a big like, part of my childhood is just walking around setting up the avengers and, yeah into, <laughs> exactly but the problem, like say what again <laughs> motherfucker i would like yeah, to talk so. to you about the avengers <laughs> initiative so then, the problem is that now as an today. adult like day. when i when show. i walk out uh, when i walk out like this this left eye of mine can't adjust to like the light and mm. shit so then i just close it this left eye of mine can't yeah, adjust to the light and shit <laughs> this left eye of mine just Get, wants to see them too that is that is this left eye why, why? Of mine 25 more sitting at box springs 150 dollars going to brett weaver i see <laughs> that is that is a that is a cultural difference because uh, uh, that would not be the left eye reference that i made uh, <laughs> it would be it would be burning down andre risen's house i don't look know it up moving on anyways so then but my whole face is lopsided now because like i've been like my this fa- side of the face doesn't react the same way as this side right so then like so this so my left side that doesn't react the same as like a working eye is way younger than my other side. It's really weird. So like, oh, am wow. I gonna be like, yeah, look at me? I'm only you know. You're like we're all on this side. It's yeah, all. Like, this is yeah. my best side yeah, gonna... for obvious yep. reasons. Yep. So yep. yeah. Uh. All right. That's fair, right? I. You guys are weird. I don't even know. I I I, I sent twenty five dollars with the message. Your eyes are dumb. <laughs> That's that fair. could have just been between you. Yeah, yeah. yeah. See, well, I have to say. It. Why do we need to set this precedent where everybody reads the Venmo messages right, out right. loud? These could <laughs> be private messages. Just send oh the God. thing. So we had. I fired a babysitter because of those Venmo messages. Damn, go on. Because like, holy because shit. Because like, I think. Because it was peach, 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 eggplant. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yes. You're she like, you're like, like uh, uh, <laughs> she, for your dad. <laughs> Oh my! She, she's got her. She's got her. Uh, she's got her babysitting account connected with her OnlyFans account, and it causes trouble. Is I, that it was, only sitters? It was. It was like a pretty vulgar. Like, hey, baby, I'm paying you for that. Puss up your cunt. Blah blah blah. Whoa. You know? Whoa. And I was just like, okay. I number one. First of all, I squirted that out of my pussy a long time ago. <laughs> right, 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 right. She was. She messaged one of her friends and made it public. And then yeah. it was just like it was pretty vulgar, and I'm just like, I'm I'm fine if you do that privately. Like I'm not but judging don't put you that. if you don't put that on the same page where your babysitter, you know, your the mom who yeah. has you. Like that just means you're so dumb. How how young was she? She she. And and this is the real reason. She was driving a really nice Jeep. And I was just like, I'm not paying this bitch who's driving this really nice Jeep. It's a way better car well, than my I husband drives have. a shit Jeep. <laughs> and then and then she's like super dumb, just publicly in front of her employer. In front of all the like, Vedbo friends that she has. Yeah, I'm, but I'm, the, the big reason though, too, is that she she had it was up her canceled. puss cunt. It was, it was something <laughs> just as bad. I don't yeah. even know. Just let her run. Yeah. 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 I'm just curious yeah. if that was if that was so a verbatim quote or we just freestyling. Yeah. So here's the thing. Yeah. So she canceled with me and says, oh, I'm not feeling good. I'm leaving you at high and dry, even though your husband and you are going to go out for the first time in a month. And I finally, you That's know, I'm supposed to be That's a weird way for her to phrase it. Yeah. She's like, I'm so sorry. I can't babysit for you guys, you know. And I'm just like. My puss Okay, just understand. really under the weather yeah. right now. It's all beat up. I've got, I've got, I've got NyQuil. My, my, my puss cunt's on NyQuil. And and yeah. So she's all like, the very next day, here's the money, my puss cunt. So oh. full of cheese. And I'm so hungover from last night, bitch. 
stage. Oh, yeah. And she was saying she was sick and couldn't come Oh, so she wanted to go out and party with her friends. Yeah, with so she, she lied to me. With her puss cunt. Made public with her puss Gotcha. <laughs> so that lying. was... Yep, swear to God. Uh, <laughs> this story hangs on, like, uh, the teetering edge of whether or not she actually used the words puss cunt. Because if she did, she's the hero and we're off. Can you get, can you go back in <laughs> your Venmo did. transactions? <laughs> yeah. I mean, if you want to, are you still friends with her? I I'm sure she's. I'm sure she's. Call one eight one nine hundred puss cunt. Man, yeah. I, I feel so much. Can we better. get an update on your puss cunt? Like, we're just trying to do a, a where are they now episode. And, hey, uh, it's me, Doctor Ob Puss Cunt. I think she's yeah. sold. That I think he's running in Pennsylvania. Yeah, she sold that sweetest jeep to pay for all the juice for puss cunt. For all the juice, I, yeah. I feel so much better. <laughs> of Comes the at messages. a premium. I feel so much better of the messages I leave Brian when I send PayPal stuff, but yeah. not gone and that I'm far. I'm sorry if that's not what you called him for. <laughs> well, I was the air. But there was some party girl shit. It was, it was some party girl shit that was similar to Puss Cut. And I'm just mad because I was Isn't it weird that in Cut's <laughs> party going on? Isn't it weird that they waited like 15 years to make a Puss Cunt movie after Shrek 3? <laughs> <laughs> or a comedy album called uh, Cheaters 7 Puss Cunts Gotta Laugh Too? Yeah, exactly. Uh, anyway. oh. There's that. Oof. Shall okay. we send it over? Yeah. To yeah. Price. Hey. I, I, uh, <laughs> old, old, old. Uh, 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 Have uh, we milked tw- tw- this old high and dry juice? What? I, mean, I don't know. I'm I just know. Know, trying oh, to go with you. Yeah. Mm. Wow. Can you send me back? Can I throw it? Yeah. Can I, I'm gonna, yeah. Bryce, you're there. <laughs> Hello? Hello? Yeah. Hello? All right. We're throwing it back to you. I think Bye. I killed right. it. Sorry, man. Thank you to our green room. Welcome back, everybody, to the great night pre-show green room holding thing. I'm Bryce Castillo. Joined yet again with the good buddy Corey Cranfield. Hey, Hi, Corey. Hey, what's up, everybody? Uh, this is normally where we would do some birthday borners, but yeah. I'm looking in Discord in our birthday borner chat. Oh, do we have maybe. Why do we have them? I'm told that uh, one little yachty has had a birthday re- yeah. recently. When is when did little yachty have a birthday? Long time ago, because they're real old. <laughs> little yachty is born on August 23rd today. Happy birthday to little yachty, 25 years old. See, old. Act- <laughs> yeah, the classically old 25 year old person. Thank you for joining us here. Much older than me and you. Much older. Much older. Yeah. Um, uh, uh, welcome back. Uh, this is normally we were talking about some fast race cars, but right. it's been the summer break. It is. Great night was off for a little while. Yep. And uh, 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 so there's 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 not there's not I mean there's a new race this weekend. Yeah, a new race this weekend. Uh, Spa. Everybody's, everybody's uh, uh, pounding on uh, Ferrari. Yeah, I guess there's a big question. Shots. Because uh, I get apparently Mick's seat, Mick Schumacher's seat for 2023 is in mm-hmm. jeopardy. Yep. Or in question. Mm-hmm. Um, Kimi Raikkonen. Do you think Kimi? Yeah. No, no. Oh, NASCAR. oh, that's right. Kimi Raikkonen uh, st- uh, started in NASCAR last week, yeah. uh, the, the number 91 car, yeah. I believe. Uh, ended up spinning out about two thirds of the way through, or got involved in another accident. Mm-hmm. And so he was kind of a casual, uh, or not a casual, but a. Uh, <laughs> racing casualty. A racing incident. It was a racing incident. He was involved in something that wasn't really involved with him. Yeah, yeah. But uh, what I loved is that he gave this inter- I guess he gave an interview to mm-hmm. a TV. Oh my god. TV crew, and he gave like Woo! the longest interview I've ever seen Kimmy. He it, like minutes, minutes, minutes. What? Kimmy hates talking to the press, but he <laughs> talks for so long. It's very cool. Yeah. Um, so, so yeah, how have you been? Not good, man. Yeah. Busy, 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 busy. Uh, speaking of busy, I know that you're busy working on a new thing. Well, I am. Can we tell folks about it? Yes, we can. Uh, uh, uh folks might... Not much is going on there yet, but it's coming soon. Not too much just yet, but, uh, uh, uh you're, you're cooking up a, a new YouTube uh, channel here, Shed Logic. ShedLogicShow.com will get you the links and stuff. ShedLogicShow.com, and you can sign up to be a part of the email list to let me notify you and also there's a link to the YouTube channel yeah so build like, it out I like the graphics you already have like a little nice little logo and yeah 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 I kind of just trying to little placeholders for, for future things yeah it's pretty exciting you can see the first build in that picture right there oh yes uh, that I, this be the first episode <sighs> I, I've seen this in person, this item, this t- 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 contraption you're holding in the photo. 
tater tot shotgun. Damn. A tater tot shotgun. A four barrel uh. tater tot shotgun. Oh, that's right. It's four barrel. It's yeah. it's scary. Yeah, it's it's scary. It's scary <laughs> but uh, I I was excited to see you use it. Yep. As you did, you did a very small demo. Yep. Um, so I'm excited to see. Yeah, if you if you, if you uh, sign up on the the little email list, I'll hmm. send out a private link. Ooh. Uh, to see it see it in action. To, to, to see a test a, a teaser of it. Nice. Uh, and it's. Uh, uh, scary. <laughs> <laughs> there, it's scary. It's it's a, it's a lot of piping. It's a lot. There's compressors involved. There's yeah. gauges. Um, it looks very cool. So uh, everybody check that out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, New adventures. Uh, uh, um, uh, 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 what was I gonna say? Um, we've got spa coming up this weekend. Yep. Spa Francochamp. Very rainy, I hear. Yeah, it might be rainy. Hopefully not as bad as last yeah. year. <laughs> pretty rough <laughs> you know what i found which was interesting uh so i like uh the race fans west uh, website yep i think they're a pretty good source for mm -hmm. info mm -hmm. uh apparently they have got a like list they've got a whole chart yep. of like the top 100 races and the top and the bottom 10 races as rated by the race fans community mm -hmm. and it's like decades because that website's been up forever forever yeah and then they, you know, I'm sure they do have done stuff for previous ones. Mm -hmm. uh, but I, I want to say the absolute worst race was Spa last year, I want to say. I want to say that was the number one worst one. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, if you if you missed it, folks, uh, you could watch the highlights very quickly. <laughs> they did. <laughs> it was raining. It was torrential. They did one official lap, basically. Mm -hmm. Did a bunch of laps under the safety car. And then basically just awarded half points based on the qualifying results. It was, it was one of those where everybody left uh, sad. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> like, yeah, absolutely. Was, I, don't, I even think the winner was not particularly excited. You know, like, it's just it was just a, everybody left sad. Yeah. El Condor Pasa asks, how bad is rain for F1 races? Uh, it, it, it has to get pretty bad, bad. compared to NASCAR. Yeah. I did not realize this until reading... Uh, 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 race fans had an opinion and piece about finishing all of the laps of a race. Yeah, and uh, they were mentioning that for NASCAR, they have a very low tolerance for rain because those cars are so on the limit, so high speed. Yeah, that if there's any water, they lose gone. grip and it's yeah. dangerous. Now, Formula One goes through; they they have their normal slick tires, which is not great for water. There's no tread on them, yeah, so you wa you aqua plane. They can have a little bit of water, as in moist. Let me rephrase: they can have moisture on the track, yeah. not water. Yeah. And then you have the intermediates, which I have to look it up, but they pump tremendous amount of water, I mean, mm -hmm. hundreds if not thousands of gallons of water per minute. They've got treads like like your normal car treads, but they're pretty deep. Uh, and they're uniform, but because they, 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 you know, chew through tires, especially those intermediates, because there's less grip. Yep. Uh, they help disperse the water, yep. but not necessarily give you a lot of speed. Yep. And then the full wets are just, just nutty. They, and they, they hit behind the cars are these huge rooster tails of water. Yeah. Just crazy amounts of water spraying up, which makes it really hard for the drivers behind because you have this wall of water in the air. Yeah. But it is insane the amount of water they can move. So in full wets. Um, as long as there's not massive rivers flowing across the track, because that's where you get in trouble is when you have like, uh, even puddles aren't that big of a deal. It's it's really the uh, the, the water running across the track because uh, a lot of the tracks are on angles and stuff. Oh, sure. And so, the drainage, yeah. yeah. So there's a drain across the track. That's when they will lose it. Yeah. You know, and so it just becomes too dangerous. And, and also really it's, it's uh, and vis more visibility. I was going to say visibility has got to be the bigger issue because... Once you get 20 cars out there spinning, even if they can get grip, they are throwing up a lot of um, water particles in the air. Yeah. And it makes it hard for people behind to see. So even that, you know, even when, because the, the drivers want to race. Yeah. Like the sense that I have gotten over the past few years is that the drivers generally at the, the FIA or the stewards are a little, a little cautious about the rain, obviously. Mm -hmm. Um, and so, yeah, El Condor Foster says uh, F1 needs rain days. Well, I, and I saw in that piece that IndyCar, I think, has the right to start early. Yeah. yeah. And, and they don't have the four-hour time limit that F1 technically has. So there's no need to, like, like Monaco this year, there's no need to have an artificial timer tell you when the end of the race is Yeah. Um, in IndyCar or other mm -hmm. leagues. Mm -hmm. um, I don't know. What do, you, what do you feel about, I hadn't really thought about the Monaco race and how, you know, by the time that they finished it, could have just done the other 20 laps because the weather had cleared up yeah how do, how do you feel about that do you have an, a, a stance on when they end a race because of time like that 
Um, I, I'm fine with the way they do it. I'm fine yeah. with the two hour limit, you know, and obviously a race window be, be, being within a certain amount of time. Mm. Uh, a lot of it, of course, comes back to uh, TVs can only delay it. You know, whoever the rights to has a TV, they can only push other cha- shows around so much. Yeah. And then also, like, how long can you keep those people that are employed there at the track? Mm-hmm. You know, and then also, like, think of the shipping nightmares that's going to happen when the Formula One guys can't get the cars onto the airplanes to get to the next track. Yeah, like, especially if it's of, not the same day. Yeah. You know? Yeah, so it's lots of nightmares can happen. Mm-hmm. Um, so I, I kind of wish there was a little bit more flexibility, but I, I'm... I'm too much of a logistics person uh, to, <laughs> to understand. Like, there's only so far you can push. Yeah. Uh, I kind of. I think part of it is because F1 is so big that it's it's even harder to move. Yeah. Because I like the idea of you're going to have an hour of mm-hmm. pre-race and post-race coverage regardless. Yep. You know, Sky is going to do it even if there's a two-hour rain delay. For sure. So you know, uh, you know, maybe it's weird with ESPN or and there's a yep. lot of different countries involved, but yeah, for sure, like. I like the idea of like, hey, we know the rain's going to be bad. Let's just start it a couple hours earlier. It's tough to do that because you need to get people in. There's thousands, hundreds of thousands of people involved. All that has to be negotiated. And I think that's why they have the current window set is because that way they can just go to ESPN and say, hey, listen, this is our current. It, it, it will not be worse than this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Whatever yeah. happens, we will be within this window. Yeah. You know, and then they can tell that to everybody, you know, so they have to like get agreements across all the countries. You know, we uh, we speculated on Cord Killers uh, maybe a few weeks, maybe a few months ago mm-hmm. that uh, someone might buy a Formula One or the Formula One rights, mm-hmm. essentially, possibly Netflix. Mm-hmm. Though I, I'm kind of, I'm not bullish on that because I think Netflix wants to own everything. Yeah. And uh, Liberty Media, Formula One, the FIA. Nobody wants Netflix to own everything yeah. on that on that Buffalo. So, yeah. um, but I could see someone like Apple, who just spent a bunch of money on baseball. <laughs> oh. oh, hello. What? Why? Why do you think that Netflix wants to own everything? They haven't owned anything like that. Well, yeah. They- yeah. I, hi, hi, oh, uh, hello. Uh, yes, call uh, it, call uh, it. West of the Rockies here, oh, independent, okay. fierce. Uh, okay. Not a very what, large. Uh, what's up? You... <laughs> oh, uh, yeah, no. It's... I'm helping. <laughs> You're doing great. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but 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 Netflix wants to likes to own all of the things it has rights to. It wants to control like what. It, like animation studios, they have oh, they have shifted from using outside animation studios to using their own development yeah, animation sure. studios. Yeah, uh, you know they the first few years of Netflix, a lot of those originals were like partnerships. Yeah, but that's not that's not a sports. I, I, I think it's more. Uh, hey, Justin. Sure. I think it's more of Netflix would own all of Formula One in the United States as far as distribution. Distribution TV. rights. Yeah. 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 So I, that would make sense. Certainly own. Formula One. Although I, I, but would, then say, that's I would say with, 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 with where sports rights are going, that's not wild. It, but yeah. like they haven't gotten into live. Anyway, yeah. let's let's do the show. Let's do a show. Thank you very much, Corey. One more time, check out Shed Logic. And uh, thank you everybody who are joining us here in the great night pre-show green room, great room, a whole dang thing. Uh, one more time, if you want to support us, go to patreon.com slash great night, which of course uh, is where you can go to support us. At patreon.com slash great night. You get exclusive bonus podcast every week. We call it The Bones. You get access to our Diamond Lounge in the Discord. Get uh, email updates for when the podcast is all the way ready. Get the mega feed RSS with no login required. All of that and more available at patreon.com slash great night. All right, let's take a listen and check everybody. See how everybody's doing. Brett, how are you doing? Hello, friend. Hello. Ooh. Mm. Uh, Justin, how are you? You good? Yeah, yeah. Brian? Hello! Uh, Jeff? What's that? Corey, how you doing? Yeah. Woo! Uh, do we have an audience today? Oh, yeah, they'll be here eventually. <laughs> okay. Can we, get, can we get chat and on the stage monitor? Say again? Chat on the stage monitor? Yes, I mean, yes. Uh, already, everybody. Well, thank you so much for joining us here in the pre-show green room, great room, whole thing. Patreon.com. All right, Brett, uh, are you ready? Yes. Uh, I am going to. Uh, oh, uh, can uh, the can I get the opening shot, please, on uh, uh, on the spotlight? All right. Thank you, everybody. One more time uh, with a big zoom out. All right, <clears throat> Brett. I'm going to count you in. All right. Uh, take it away. In 